What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a four league hybrid. Now, two reasons for this, it's 50K as well, so it's very, very cheap, and there's a way to make it about 25K. I'll give you other suggestions if you want, because there's two players that are quite expensive and the rest of the team is very, very cheap. But anyhow, I'm making this because of the market crash, so a cheap OP team is kind of necessary, and also because of the tournament that's out right now that requires four leagues for you to build a team with uh, I think 80 minimum chemistry but of course this one's got 100 so we'll start off with Farman as the goalkeeper then we'll move over to the centre backs which are going to be Naldo and uh, not Nastasic it's going to be Howardis who has a red card for me as you can see but uh, yeah I'll, I'll explain more about the team in the highlights that was just terrible defending by me uh, a rash tackle that sent him off but anyway this trio because of Naldo in particular will cost you around 12k Naldo is about 9k, so the, these two are literally 1.5k. So we'll move over to the next league, which is going to be Calcio A. And uh, he's untradeable for me, but he's a couple of k on the market. Florenzi, very, very solid right back there. Uh, and then we've got uh, De Rossi. If you do have a few more coins that you're willing to spend, then you could, of course, go with Nine Golan there. Um, but I've got a 50k budget. And the next player we've got is Mohamed Salah, so we'll put him there. Then we move over to the, uh, well, the next league, I suppose, the third league out of the four, uh, La Liga Santander. Now, this is the second most expensive player, Felipe Luis. I bought him for about 11k, but I think he's around 15k now. Now, if you do want to get rid of this guy and use someone else, you can literally use any uh, Spanish left back or any Brazilian left back in La Liga. Like, it really doesn't matter. Um, I'll, I'll show you some options just in case. Uh, but yeah, we've got Koke in centre mid, but um, well, I mean, I, I've explained, like, you should easily be able to get it cheaper if you do want it to. Literally any Spanish left back or Brazilian left back in La Liga Santander will make that a lot cheaper if you don't want to uh, fork out the 15k for Felipe Luis. Now we move over to the next player who is uh, the most expensive on the team, Wayne Rooney. Very, very, very good on this game. It's taken me ages to actually get around to use him, but uh, he's not like he is in real life at the minute. He's actually very clinical in this game, and uh, he's roughly about 18k. And then to finish this off, I might as well just type his name in because he's uh, untradeable for me, so it'll take forever for me to actually get him. And we've got Marcus Rashford, who I've played over 100 games with, and uh, he's just exceptional. Now, if you do want to make this cheaper, you could go instead of Manchester United, you could use uh, the Liverpool tra um, players. So you could have, I think it's Danny Ings and uh, Adam Lallana, which would bring this down if you also got rid of Felipe Luis to about 25, 30k absolute max. And if you want to bring it down even further, you could use Nastasic in Fernaldo. And uh, that would bring it down to probably 20k. So you could get a 20k team, a 30k team, or a 50k team out of this. It really depends on you. But anyway, let's get into the highlights. The word I'm going to use in the title for this team is well balanced because that's what it is. It's very strong in all aspects of the pitch. Now, I can't defend, so it doesn't really matter who the hell I have in centre back. They're always going to be making mistakes because I haven't learned how to defend yet. And I've played about 700 games of FIFA this year so uh, yeah I really need to uh, find out how to do that sharpish but the centre backs really do complement each other a bit more uh, Naldo gets forward slightly more than Howard S but uh, there's there's always a man back unless like me you put them out of position uh, Farman made some really really good saves in this team and the two full backs I was very impressed with because if you set them back to stay back while attacking which is what I do they're, they're always there as an added option and Felipe Luis seems to uh, be positioned in the correct place same as Ferenzi to be honest the two centre mids uh, Koki drifts forward and interlinks very well with Rooney De Rossi very very good defensively two wingers Carrasco Salah very similar can cross the ball can dribble in can cut inside very very solid and extremely cheap now Rooney as a cam I can't believe I haven't used him before on this game he is so good he's strong he's got a lethal long shot his passing is really good dribbling solid enough um i put the engine chemistry style on him uh to increase his dribbling passing and pace but uh you can pretty much use any because he's just fantastic on this game the way he plays 
is just brilliant. You always find space. Like you're looking at that goal in particular. That was to complete a hat trick for him. But uh, that was the first game I actually played. I've just muddled up the highlights. But anyway, Rashford. I've went through him many, many times on this game in various squad builders. He's just very, very good. Honestly, lethal shot. Extremely cheap. Pacey. Um, I suppose dribbling's a little off. But I tend to pass the ball while he's got space anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He's just a lethal clinical finisher. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.